A Senate vote on the Republican Party's signature health care legislation is on hold. GOP leaders are now regrouping after the vote was delayed until at least the middle of July. President Trump is pushing GOP senators to, quote, do something very, very important for the people of our country. He brought them to the White House yesterday to try to bridge Republican differences. Margaret Brennan is at the White House with the administration's efforts to try and close the deal. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, President Trump considers himself a closer, but his deal making has been ineffective in the Senate, where Republican leaders bowed to pressure from within their own party and postponed a health care vote until sometime after the July 4th recess. So we're going to talk and we're going to see what we can do. We're President Trump close. summoned all Republican senators to the White House for an emergency meeting Tuesday after party leaders postponed the health care vote due to a lack of support. This will be great if we get it done. And if we don't get it done, it's just going to be something that we're not going to like. And that's OK. And I understand that very well. Some senators arrived back to Capitol Hill optimistic they will find a path to passage. We're not there yet. Uh, we don't have consensus. I believe we can't get to yes. Others are less confident. This president is the first president in our history who has had neither political nor military experience. And thus, it has been a challenge to him to learn how to interact with Congress. Mr. Trump downplayed their dissent in a Twitter post, saying that Republicans are working hard and really want to get it right. But his aides worked furiously to turn the tide. Vice President Pence, a former congressman, lobbied the entire Republican caucus at their weekly lunch, while White House Chief of Staff Reince Priebus and Press Secretary Sean Spicer also worked Capitol Hill. I think we've got a really good chance of getting there. It'll just take us a, a little bit longer. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell must now try to resolve his own party's concerns or be forced to find hard-to-win Democratic support. We'll have to sit down with Senator Schumer, and my suspicion is that any negotiation with the Democrats uh, would include none of the reforms that we would like to make. Now, during yesterday's White House meeting, a number of Republican senators complained about President Trump's supporters running attack ads against one of their own. A pro-Trump political action committee has been running this ad against Nevada Senator Dean Heller after he opposed the health care bill. And that strategy backfired. Heller personally complained about the ads, and shortly after the meeting, uh, the group agreed it would stop running them. Gail? Thank you very much, Margaret.